Hello guys, Gene, Trey, out at the range today. Kind of making just a quick visit out here today because we've been hearing a lot of smack talk, if you will, on Facebook and different forums. Not so sure that we've seen anything on YouTube just yet with people having major malfunctions with their Canik MC9s, but we have been seeing a lot of people comment on our other MC9 videos where we shot flawlessly without problem. But of course we were shooting range ammunition and they claim that they have been having problems with their hollow point ammunition or their carry ammunition. And they say that it's first round, like they never got through a single magazine from the very, very beginning. So I know we don't have a whole lot, but what little bit we have picked up today costs us $170. You see here we have some Hornady black, 124 green. I think this is the 124 green is the one people were claiming the most problem with. We did get also some 115 grain V crown, six hour and some 124 and picked up some silver tip here from Winchester. Got the heavy stuff, the mm. 147. So if it's gonna fail to feed something, it'll fail to feed 147 for sure. So we are just gonna put a couple of these through here like I said, it was up. We got, and the good thing is, the good thing is, we got two samples. So we got Trey's tuxedo here, his black, his <laughs> all black. And so just so I was like, oh, well, you got a good one, kind of like in the Prodigy video. Everybody said, well, you got a good one. I'm happy for you, but uh, everybody else got a piece of junk, you know, or at least that's what they were saying. And so the good thing is today, Trey and I, we have two different samples. These fell everywhere, so. Well, that's okay. They're all going to the same place. I'm gonna put them out here on the table. It's kind of like mixing your food, you know. So, this is what do we got here? So we're shooting the Hornady Black nine millimeter, one twenty four green Hornady XT. Is that XTP? Is that what that is? I believe yeah. so. Yeah. So we're gonna load up the twelve round magazine in Gene's FDE here. And we're going to shoot it. Again, we're not shooting at anything. It's late afternoon. Uh, I went out earlier, picked up this ammunition. I, had, I couldn't, didn't have time to get it online. We just went out real, real quick, picked this up at a local mom and pop store today. It cost us an arm and a leg. But, hey, you know, I think Trey's been a little butthurt, if I'm being honest with you. You guys know that Trey's the Canic guy. That's his favorite brand. So I've been telling him what people have been saying. And I could tell he hadn't been liking it. You know, he don't want to hear it. You know, well, what about this? Or what about that? Well, what if they didn't do this? And so... He's been dismissive, right? Yeah, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. So he's really genuinely hoping that we don't have any problems, you know, with this thing. And, you know, I ain't either because, you know, I've been carrying this gun because of how well it did feed. So we're just going to find out this is mine. I'll turn around and do the same thing with trays. And yeah, we will use the larger mag just for the naysayers that say it happened in their large mag. We'll use it as well. But this is the 124 um, jacketed hollow point. Not shooting at anything, just seeing if it'll feed today. Gene's FDE, as you can see, had no problem. So if mine's the one that doesn't perform, I'm not gonna be happy. So let's get Trey's uh yeah, I don't know what he's got in here. He's got some hot ammo in here. Gene always gives me grief about what I carry because it's a combination, he's but got, I got I got right this time. Yeah, he's got some good stuff in there. He's got some good stuff. That's so right. We'll let Trey shoot his own. We'll let Trey load up the the hit the, the big mag here. I'll trade off the camera. Let me load the big one. Just in case anybody says, well, it's, it, it, it was somebody else shooting it. That's what it was, you know. <laughs> we'll, let, we'll let Trey load up his own. See what he thinks. So this was what was in my mag right on the left here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what All was right. in there. I don't know. What is it? Hornady or something? Yeah. Now would be a good time to mention our burn down that we've been thinking about doing. So guys, we're... We're looking to burn down. I, I, me and Gene have been kind of playing with the idea a little bit. You know, maybe a Glock, maybe a PSA dagger. 
whatever you guys want to see but in order to do that you know obviously ammo ain't cheap and if we're going to do a thousand round burn down of nine millimeter you know we got to have the likes the support guys which we appreciate from all you guys but we need extra to get the ammo if you know what i'm saying which we we want to do you know we want to see if it'll if it'll function and perform of course but we want you guys to tell us what it is we've determined it's got to be a canic or or a glock or something that takes a glock magazine right because that's the only the only thing we have enough mags to actually pull that off in a timely manner so what you got you got the all black i got you the loaded tuxedo. up i got the same hornady black um using the same thing i was using the hornady xtp 124 grain that's what it looks like whenever it hits its target it kind of flares out a little bit <laughs> very cool when it so so you loaded up the uh the 15 rounder yep i got so, i got the max daddy of it i had the the smaller um what am i saying magazine, magazine smaller cap mag and you have the larger one yeah, we're trying 12. to get a mixture of everything here somebody said yeah. well mine filled with the larger mag all right let's see what she's got Beautiful, beautiful. Flawless function. So, 124 grain is what we just put through it. I guess we just got to keep on shooting what we got. So load up the rest of those XTP. Well, you know what? Just leave those. We've done proven that those will function. All right. So let me let me load up my large mag here. All right. Let's see what you got. And let's go with some. So let's get the. I like switching back and forth because I, you know, guys, we, we do try to do the best reviews we can, but I feel like it's even better whenever we can have a variety of types of ammunition. We can have two of the exact same pistols. So you guys can't say, well, you got a good one. Right. Maybe, I, I mean, I'm sure there's going to be people that say you got two good ones. Right, right. But I mean, heck, it's we can't always, get them all. It's always with the naysayers, you know? Right. So... We're just trying not, and I know the video sometimes it can last a little a little while, but we're trying not to break the video so that people can say, oh, you uh, you cut the video off and clipped out where it failed. No, nah, we're not cutting the video at all. Doesn't matter how long it lasts. We're showing you from the time we started up to, and loaded up until the time we're done with it. And we want you to know I mean, this is two samples. Now, it would be difficult for me to believe that two different samples, if there was that big of a problem with a gun running hollow point ammunition, that it wouldn't show up in one of these two samples. This is hard for me to believe that. So, yeah. what we're shooting here is, is again, 124 grain, except this is V-Crown. Now, I will say this. I did read this forum where this guy specifically said the only issue he had was with the six hour V crown. So that ought to be interesting. So I'm loading up my 15 round mag here. I've already done my smaller one. And yep. let's just uh, see how she does. She'll be That's a good shooting gun there, buddy. You can't ask for better. That's fast. That's a quick gun. And I was just barely pulling. I wasn't even trying to rapid fire. Hitting the same spot. We ain't shooting at nothing, but I was hitting the same spot. There's your V-Crown. Um, I'm going to load up Trey's small mag because he hadn't shot with a small mag yet. True. Maybe it's the small mag that's going to fail. Who knows? Well, you shot with your, yeah, you shot with a small one, but you shot the Hornady with your small magazine. So, I mean, at that point, it becomes a spring issue in the magazine, if that's what it really is. So we got that. When we when I read these things online, my mind races. Like, what could be causing that to happen? Well, Trey was definitely upset by, by people saying that. You know, you could tell. So we, we just did 124, so we want to stay consistent. So let's get the... 124 loaded up in Trey's magazine here. You know, sometimes when people probably watch these videos and we don't have any problems, they think like, well, 
what are you what are you trying to say are you trying to say i got a bad gun and yes we well, are you know i got the worst luck of anybody in history and anybody that knows me <coughs> knows that that's true if there's one dud out there out of 700 i'll pick the dud up right um that's just been my experience in life and i was shocked that uh, out of all of the problems everybody was claiming they were having with the Springfield Prodigy that I actually got one that was completely flawless. That ain't gonna happen twice. Definitely, cause I, I actually bought both of these guns. So I bought this one, Trey got jealous. He wanted this one, but he couldn't go that day and get it. So I went and got it for him. No way I'm getting lucky twice. Well, this would be three times if you include the Prodigy. So this is one, this is also 124, six side, we're loaded up in trays. Uh, what is this 12 round magazine for his gun he hasn't shot the 12 round yet maybe that's where it'll fail i don't know maybe now we did shoot some of these we shot these guns we've already obviously done two range reviews on them so i guess somebody could always say oh it's a break-in period maybe so well but uh, again a lot of the stuff i've been reading on facebook people <laughs> said they were shooting their range ammo and when they transferred over to you know shoot with their carry ammo that's when they begun to have problem so so we, i thought about that. all of this yeah yeah we have shot it but i don't think it's a break in i don't know if it picked up on camera or not but um flawless but them them rounds were ejecting out perfect just the same spot every time no erratic ejections or anything like that so i don't know what do let's you go with the 115 grain we haven't shot any 115 yet okay so let's uh let's do some of that and i guess you can load yours are you loading yours or mine i'll load them both so i guess load up my small one and your large one i guess okay. maybe maybe we need to rapid fire maybe that'll make it fail i'm gonna throw you for a loop here i'm loading my small one but gonna let you shoot it through your gun and then i'm loading your big one and i'm gonna shoot your big one there you go so basically we're trying to make a cocktail of problems here because we do want it i mean i'm not convinced there's gonna be a problem i don't want it to fail but i do want some of you guys to be right i mean good gosh like yeah we're not trying to be smart alex and we're not no. saying that people that have had problems is not are lying about it or anything we just kind of wanted to see out of two samples that we have right having already been to the range and they were flawless we was a little worried about it ourselves too because trey and i both carry these guns we have been since we shot them so you know heck gene was giving me a little bit of grief earlier because i told him so I put that Vortex, the Defender uh, CCW, their new optic that they have out, I put it on there um, when we took it off of the Taurus TX-22 Compact. And Gene was like, wait a minute, you're pocket carrying that thing? I sure am. I'm putting it right here in my pocket with the Vortex Defender. I am carrying it with the smaller mag, but I'm So you're going to shoot this one with the FDE magazine? Yes. And oh. then you're going to shoot your small black one in your FDE. Oh, well, then um, that's definitely, that's got to be the combo there. Oh, it's got to be. I mean, Let's see. Let's I'm see sure that people that are having failures out there aren't comparing their two canics. No, They no. probably only got one, but we're, we I, are. Again, we're, we're just trying to be funny. We're not being smart, Alex, yeah. but we really wanted to see if it would fail. Well, and another thing, too, is like I'm sure that there are people out there that are trying to buy like more magazines for this particular pistol. So, you know, maybe maybe it's a mag thing. I don't know. Dude, man, the way that it was slinging them rounds, I just can't wait for you to watch that back. Yeah, I might slow mo that baby. You want to get a, you want to get a hold of this one? Um, you know, I hate to sit here and keep on shooting all this high. That was hundred and seventy dollars worth of ammo that we <laughs> spent through here in no time. But uh, we had to find out because we do care. Small. I'm not gonna lie, that looks good. That doesn't look too bad, does it? That look good. I might have to steal one of your mine. <laughs> the FDE look at, doesn't look so good on the black, though. 
No, it doesn't. But it don't have no FDE. I mean, you got your you got your mag release, your slide lock, your trigger. I mean, good man. Well, I kind of like the. Uh, let's pay let's pay attention to the casings on this. See if it's uh, as good as uh, ejection pattern as yours was. Every single one of them, except for the last one, went in the same spot. So that was 115. So let's get the heavy ones. Let's let's just get the heavy ones here. Normally, I don't like to hear that because that means 44 is coming up. But Trey, Trey and I will split these. Uh, so it won't be a complete waste of $170. We'll split up those uh, defensive rounds because we need those. So 147 grain silver tip from Winchester. Now that's a heavy round. I think there's one that's a slight bit heavier than that. That's 150 grain. But has there was? Did you read any forums that said that that was the ammo that was giving the problem, or are we just trying different no, stuff? Now, no one really gave. I heard one person say that they had problems with the Sig Sauer V Crown, so that's the reason I kind of gravitated towards picking that up. But other than that, they haven't been specific. Some people specifically said 124 grain. But as far as that, nobody was real specific about weight of what they were shooting. But I figured, hey, you know, get one of the heaviest green rounds that you can get in a nine millimeter. And by God, if it'll feed that. Yeah, and it obviously fed all of our uh, full metal jackets that we were putting through it whenever we came out here for the range day right, on right. both of these pistols, like shot flawlessly, flawlessly. With, with no hiccup. Like every cannon we've ever had. Absolutely. Never had a problem with a cannon. So we've got the silver tip loaded up. That's a nasty round. Literally has a silver tip on it with a brass <laughs> case. So I'm gonna shoot it through my gun. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go brown on brown this go round. Okay. I'm gonna try to slow down, shoot it slow. You know, maybe say people, well, rapid firing. You're firing it too fast. So I'm going to try to slow down on this one and see if uh, maybe we can get something to happen. That's a heavy hitter there, buddy. Listen to that reset. Oh, yeah. Sounds so good. It shoves your finger back. I even tried to limp wrist it a few times. That's 147 grain, folks. I'm gonna lay, load Trey's mag up here, let him shoot it out on the last one. But I don't know what more to do, honestly, because here's the thing. Nobody can say, well, nobody can say, well, you know what, man? It's because you didn't put enough through it. That's what it is. No. Everyone that was complaining about it, everyone on the Facebook forums, and everyone else, everywhere else rather, they were saying that it happened in their first magazine. Yeah. Very first magazine. So you can't say, oh, maybe if you would have put more through it, it wouldn't have done it. I don't think that's the case at all. So we got Trey loaded up here. This is a heavy hitter, huh? Okay. One more thing we haven't done. Both of them at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we hadn't done that. <clears throat> Let's drop one in the chamber there. Okay. Let's do that. Get you a full mag here. Okay. Maybe that'll do something. Maybe. Ain't totally sure. <laughs> maybe. I mean, maybe that's what they was doing out at the range that we wasn't doing. I maybe, mean, obviously maybe. it's something. Hey, man, I didn't even think about that. Obviously, it's something. So you got one in the pipe, twelve in the, twelve in the mag. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go slow, kind of like you did, but I guess this is us shooting you guys out because we haven't had any problems with this gun, with our other MC9. Maybe we need to get the two tone. Maybe that's the problem. I doubt <laughs> it, but maybe. I don't know. Guys. Yeah, we'll pick up the two tone. See what. Well, maybe we'll maybe we'll try to go find one, but. We're going we're gonna to shoot you guys out. If you like today's video, like, subscribe, comment down below. We like talking to you guys. And go check us out on Rumble. And have a great day.
superior yes, firearms. That's money, dude. That's money, dude.